because we are having uh, an injury crisis <laughs> in the area you don't like uh, already. Um, how are you going to resolve that? Uh, because Locatelli is out. Um, he's out. Like uh, I have, I've had a bruised rib. I don't know. I'm not sure what Locatelli has. Like it's f very. I don't know. Is it broken? Is it not broken? Is just you know how you say that out of place? I don't know. Um, I had a bruised rib, and I played ten minutes, and I struggled breathing. And then the first touch, it wasn't even like a duel. It was just a slight touch from the opponent. I thought I was going to die on that pitch. I couldn't breathe. And I was done. So I'm assuming Locatelli is out. How will you fix that? Will you play Nicolussi? Because we haven't... Well, what did he play? Eight minutes this season? Will you throw Nicolussi in with Miretti? I still, I still say Loka's playing. I had the same injury uh, this season. I played, it sucked, you can't breathe, and every knock hurts, whatever. But I think he's going to play and then skip out Monza. Um, he might run a risk, Hurden, but I see no way. I see Loka getting in there. I would play Hans. I'm not scared to play Hans Nicolucci Cavillian. Um, this is a big thing about what I've been saying today, even also, is that there's guys that watch this team actually physically train day in, day out. And it's a lot more telling about what goes on into making calls and why guys are getting minutes and everything like that. And it's a bit of an eye opener when you're actually at one of those training sessions. So if anybody gets uh, an opportunity ever to watch the training sessions, like take it in, even the ones open to fans as though some aren't always as intense, but it really, you see a lot more than just what goes on on game day when the pressure is on and everything like that. But you really get a feel for these guys. Everybody that watches this team train day in, day out says Hans Nicolucci Cavilia is our best technical midfielder on the team right now, right now that we have. Um, some would go as far to say he's the best in front of the defense with what we have right now. As far as the fear that some have about playing him, I totally understand that. I totally get it. I don't share the same sentiments. Um, I would play him. I was never scared with Illing Jr. playing the semifinal Europa League. I was never scared with Barnachea stepping in there because Paredes was junk. I was not scared with Hoyson coming in there for 20-plus minutes against Milan when we're only 1-0 up. I'm not worried about it. It's, you know, he's there. It's a natural position for him. Play him. Play him. So if we need to, for me, the biggest thing is actually Weston McKenney and making sure he's at our right wing back role to mark Di Marco and play on that flank to actually offer a little bit of resistance because I think he's been our best on that side. I, I've only seen Cambiaso there once and I wasn't really taking, you know, taking my breath away there. Wea is just getting back and he's been a mixed bet. He was great in the preseason and I don't know what's going on in the season, but he's not having the same effect. He's had one good showing. Um, for me, you got to have McKenney out there on the right flank. So if it means playing Cavilla in there with Moretti and Rabio, then I do it. But I definitely think I would two man pivot and throw Moretti kind of up to also rule out their director, which may not be Chalanoglu as he's got called so, back yeah. and Spatoni might be out. So both teams are going to be dealing with maybe some change ups, but, uh, that's what I would do personally. I have no fears in playing Cavilla, man. I really don't. Quick follow-up. Do you think he will do that? No. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> no. Uh, I, 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 don't, I, I don't fear playing Nicolucci. I just, like, it's unknown. Like, it's unknown for me. You know? Yeah. And it's unknown yeah. for the team maybe as well. You know, it's training, okay. You know, but actually game, game time, because it's a key position. Like, it's key. It kind of starts with you, <laughs> basically. Uh, I don't have fear. It's just it's an un unknown. But if you don't have any options, like it is what it is. Like I'm not yeah. for like I agree. I'm not too. I'm not one of those guys coming out of the break and Allegri is like, "Hello guys, it's gonna be three four three. It's gonna be four like uh, no, like don't don't do that. <laughs> like don't. I do don't want to see this. If we're spending this much time talking about the midfield and doubts in it and whatnot why on earth would we take another player away from that and go three yeah, four three that's, that's... yeah when we did last year it was awful awful the three four three yeah i agree like you need players also you need to build on that you like you cannot 
throw that out there one game, like especially with the, with this team, like it's just not gonna yeah. work. So I I agree with that. I have no fear playing Nicolucci, and I think I don't think he's gonna play. I think he's gonna play McKenny, and he's gonna shift Cambiasso. Um, and that's I that's what I think he's gonna do, unless other injuries uh, okay, like happen basically. Um, but it's 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 a big blow. Like I think Locatelli has been inconsistent ever since he joined. Like that's me. I have a love hate relationship with him, but we cannot miss him, and that's a big big blow because we already struggle in midfield. I agree with that. You know, keeping hold, yeah. and they they can do that. <sighs> Somehow, some way, we need to make that a very physical game. That's what I think. We need to make that a very physical. We cannot let them play. We we cannot get them let them get comfortable in possession. We need to maybe a bit, quote unquote, shit house them. You know what Cambiasso did when he came on against Fiorentina. I had no clue what that was about. The first five minutes he came on, I was like, "What is this up? This is terrible." <laughs> and he was bad, by the way. But what he was good at was breaking up play, kicking the ball a bit away, just giving the players a notch here and there. And it took out the complete tempo out of that game. And Fiorentina had nothing the last 50 minutes because we, we we didn't make that a game anymore. We don't need to do that to that extent, but somehow, some way, we need to stop them and make it a very physical game. Frustrate them, frustrate them excuse me, from the get-go. Get Barella a bit more, you know... Uh, on the ground, <laughs> basically get them frustrated. Which you know, is easy to do. Out. Which, <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, just, I think that's, and at, again, it needs, we need to do, obviously in possession, you need to do better. But I think we need to play that type of game. I think because of the team we have now and the injuries and, and the issues, I think that's the game <clears throat> plan we need to do. I think we can win that game. You know, I, like, I'm Absolutely. not going in that game and I'm like, oh shit, man. Like I was going into the Napoli game last season, I wasn't expecting five one, but I was like, "We're not, we're gonna lose." Like I, I knew that for like we're gonna lose that game. I don't have that now. Yeah. I'm going into the game. I'm like, "We're gonna win it." You know, I believe we're gonna win that game. So it's not to that extent, but this is the biggest te- biggest test of the season because up to this point, besides I don't want to say disrespectful, besides Milan, but they picked up a red card, so that's maybe you know not fair. Atalanta away is tough, not because I believe they're they're a very quality team. It's just tough for us. Other than that, we didn't really face very good teams. Like Lazio, they're not good, and we will always beat Lazio. Like we can play yeah. Serie D football, we will beat Lazio at home. This is big time, and you go two ways: you do it physical, or you minute one and you go Lazio mode and you go at them from minute one and you try to not put them away, but play on the front foot, get that goal somehow and put that pressure on them. And it's like, now we can play our favorite game. We're going to sit back at home. You guys come at us. Yeah. And we're going to try to see it out. So you need to do it different. I think it's going to be the first one. <laughs> we're trying to play it safe, physical, and uh, try to take that one sh- chance here and there and put that game away. I think that's the type of football game we're going to play. I agree with Nicolussi. I do think he's technically a very, very good player. He is. He always was. You know, injuries or no injuries, like he's technically very good. I'm so very confused as of why he stayed. Now it makes sense. Everybody's injured. For his own sake, I thought it was better for him to leave after that injury. Just play. You need you need to play. Like I know it's his dream to play for this team, but I think he would have a bad, had a better shot if he went on loan, played all season, and the club was like, especially in the moment we are, you know what? You can come back. You can actually play and maybe Miretti you haven't developed enough you go on loan this season and Nicolucci comes in you know uh but the thing how things are looking now well thank god we we kept him uh, unless I think yeah. doesn't play him um I don't think he will start I do think he will get significant minutes if Locatelli is out which I think he will be um what 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 do you think like the type of game we're gonna play is it gonna be Lazio at home or is it gonna be Fiorentina away the approach to the game basically from us I think Juve is going to surprise everybody going for that first one I think we're going to actually get after it to get that first goal we're at home Inter's probably going to be banged up too Yeah, and they don't play well they haven't played well at Allianz for some time now 
and I agree with That's the curva right. back and everything too. I just, I think we're going to get after it for that first one. After that, I think we all know where it's going, which I'm okay <laughs> with switching to that smash and grab for the rest, because I think as long as the pressure's okay, I don't mind us trying to clamp down and doing this, but you have to do so with pressure. This is the one key thing where everybody talks about the formations, all this, and Chiesa this, Vlaovic that. For me, it's the pressure. It's this uh, resistance to just getting out there and closing the space down quicker, especially out of the middle of the pitch. You do not want their middle of the pitch to operate with time and space. So for me, the biggest thing is force them to those outsides. Let Kostic work on Dumfries, who's, who's he's had great success with um, in the four matches last season. Let, hopefully, I'm hoping for Weston McKenney deal with DeMarco on the other side, but do not let them operate in the middle. The pressure has to be there from Juventus. We can't back down, and we can't have these games where in the middle of the pitch, we are second to the 50-50s or going in soft. You have to get physical. And you have to get stuck in, in this game. But I do believe we get after that first one. And that's another question mark that surrounds this team is what happens if this team goes down? Cause so far we've conceded in three games, but actually going down in only one of them. Yep. So it's like, that's a, that's a stat that is a nightmare from last season where we only won one game after yep. falling behind or sorry, conceding, conceding one yeah. win five draws 15 losses okay so hopefully we don't have to find out against inter but i think it's going to be a tight one and i wouldn't be oh, surprised yeah. with a one nil game either way to be honest i i i i agree i agree with that going behind because funny enough the video i made i, I was looking at those stats i was reading and i was like wow i i i, I was shocked <clears throat> then i sat back and i was like maybe not you know but i was still shocked because it's it's wow you know, it's overwhelming a little bit. It's, um, a, it's a bad stat there. Yeah, when it's, conceding it's, a goal last It's season. not a good stat, obviously. Like, it's it's <laughs> it's, a, it's a worrying stat. Like, we're not in that and situation. And it's all about so. narratives too, right? Because it's like, how do you take that stat? Do you take that stat as, that's because our offense is weak, we can't overcome things? Or is it a mentality thing? I think it's a like, mix of both. I think... Yeah. Because the way we play... I think it's tough for this team to flip it completely, like mentality wise, to be like, okay, now we need to do something different because they're, if you're sitting back so comfortable and you're doing it very, like at ease, like we play at ease. Like the last couple of games, I never sat back and I was like, man, we're going to concede a goal. Fiorentina, they were shooting on goal. I was like, good, you can do that for another two days. Like that's nothing. You know, that's, you're not testing yeah. Chesney. So it's, it's good to play from that, you know, sofa seat basically you're just chilling out you know it's it's going well you know it's not gonna happen something crazy needs to happen for us to go down here or something fluky whatever you know uh, or chesney needs to have a howler again i don't know something like that so i think it's it's a big step for this club for these players to be like okay what now like now we need to play on the front foot because we cannot sit back now we're down we need to do something and then it's where coaching comes in because he has certain players on that pitch then they're not going to do that most likely like it can but probably not you know you need to mix it up a little bit we, as in, in junior as for weird example as this sounds as weird as this sounds man i feel like it would almost be in juve's best benefit that this game remains goalless for a while like uh, I extend it into it unless we like, somehow find a way to put them away like put them on the pressure early doors and i'm like get it but if it's even even i agree with you it, yeah, like if it keeps us engaged and doesn't let us allow to just get into this shell and be so comfortable, which we are, like it's, it'd almost be benefit, like a beneficial uh, event for Juventus to have this thing go longer into the game before they hopefully bag that first goal. Because even on the counter, like Inter will get after and they they will allow themselves to be open for counters. Yeah. And I think we can hurt them on counters. Uh, but again, another reason I go back to mostly midfield, but even some of these outside players, there's moments for us to give these guys those breakthrough moments on counters. And my God, we can hit that ball to save mm -hmm. our life. 
we can. I, I, <laughs> I like I we can hit that wall to save, <laughs> to save our life. Like none of them can do it. It's crazy. I know. I, uh, I remember just a clip from another guy on your channel. Uh, I'm not sure. Like he doesn't love Robbie. I'll put that out there. I remember like last season we had, it was last season. We had the, the most open counter ever. You couldn't mess it up. And Robbie had the ball and he, I don't know what he did. I, like he played. I remember the exact play. I know exact play you're oh, talking about. That was, that was, yeah. Like that's, you can frame that video and that's, that's our issue. Like we can. So we need to find a way to, like, like somebody said, isolate Keza in those moments because it's him. Like if it's not going to be him, it needs to come from him or immediately indeed it cannot be that way. So because he has all the tools, passing range, technique to make those passes, he has that, yeah. you know, and he needs to find consistency. I 100% agree with that. Uh, but he has all the tools. So Inter will be open at times. They will. Uh, because they've they've shown that last season, uh, this season, and I think that's kind of normal a bit, you know, uh, because of the type of football they try to play. It, you know, it, compared to us, we're not going to be that open, so it's obviously yeah. that they're going to be uh, like going to be chances, but we need to take them one hundred percent. So um, I like where we're sitting going into it. I feel like all the pressure is on them. Um, like I agree because. Um, I, I will have Anthony. No, I don't. I will be on Anthony's channel this week, Inter Worldwide. So stay tuned for that to do a preview. And he said the same thing. You know, it's Inzaghi. Like, you need to do it now. I think the pressure, yeah. like, it's like he has those mental breakdowns where he goes missing with his team for a couple of weeks, maybe a month, and that throws out everything, you know, and they're, they're not going to make it again. You know, his luck is maybe... There's no runaway candidate, even us, you know, we're there and about. So that's maybe yeah. working in his favor. But somehow um, that's their biggest, their biggest issue, you know. If his yeah. biggest issue, he falls short. So the pressure is obviously on Inter. They have the better squad. They are in the process much longer, especially in Zaki. And the criticism of him failing is real. Like, it's a fact. Like, it's not made up, whatever. And even Inter fans are saying. So the pressure is on Inter 100%. Because at the start of the season, I think nobody said with real, like, being real, 100% convinced Juve are going to win the title. I don't think any, like, you, people say that, obviously. But maybe a ha ha handful of people would actually believe, you know what? You were gonna win it, you know. I think most people are just saying that they're fans. You know, we're winning it deep down. I hope they're gonna win it, you know. But with Inter is, they need to win it, especially now. Napoli and Milan look yeah. completely cooked. Or like completely, they they don't look like a team that's gonna make it. The pressure is on them, so I 100% agree. The pressure on Juve is coming from fans like me. Like I will, I will say very, very. Honestly, uh, I don't think it's coming from the media. To be honest, I don't. I'm not like when I watch uh, Zazaroni, who is the director uh, of Corriere dello Sport, and how he defends Allegri on public television. I was shocked. Like I was shocked because I was not expecting that. To be honest, I was expecting more criticism, more pressure, more questions being asked. And he is ultra defensive, and he's saying, "Oh, he's doing a fantastic job." Pairing that with the Inzaghi thing, I do believe the pressure is on Inter. I think the media will build that up a little bit like that. You know, that the pressure, you know what? It's it's you now. You guys need to do it. Go to the stadium. Beat the team that doesn't concede goals, basically. Uh, yeah. Somehow, find a way to put them away a little bit. Four points gap or five point gap then? Five point gap. Yeah. Five yeah. point gap. And maybe, you know, early runaway, you know? And... Do that. I think the pressure because if we win and we go top one point, I don't think the media is coming out and be like, "Oh my God, they're gonna run away with it." But if Inter do that, I think they will put it in that spotlight. They're gonna run away with it. They're the team now, and they're probably gonna yeah. build up a gap. So I I agree. Pressure will be on them, and it's it's a good spot for us. I think especially for this team and the way Allegri speaks. You know, we win a game against Milan. We we're sitting two points off. Off the top, and he's like, um, I'm looking at the the team sitting in place fifth. You know, if you want to believe it or not, 
he's putting the pressure, like he's burying, burying the pressure. Like he's not <laughs> shifting it away. He's putting it. The rest of the away. month of December is going to be tricky too. And it's that's going to be key. That's going to be a key run for Juventus. Um, Inter's, a... Inter's got, they were the number one pick for everyone for the Scudetto. Okay. The majority was all picking Inter. They've yep. got the top team on paper. Um, they've got the lead right now in the table, a chance to go five points. It is all on them. Juventus is playing with house money right now, okay? Um, and uh, that's a good spot for uh, us to be on. You know what? You guys uh, are the front runners. Come into our house and uh, improve it. The players are going to have to be dialed in 1,000%, whatever the approach, whatever the style, whatever. I could care less because usually all that goes out the window in these games anyways. And they become, they can become dogfights. And the other crazy thing is there hasn't been a Derby d'Italia this important or yeah. decisive probably since Sari's season. And it's anybody's guess how... Juve is really going to react having a pretty young side and it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. We're going to learn the most we've learned about this third season under Allegri in this game, November 26th. Uh, this is where we're really going to learn um, if we are in fact working to that other level, that next gear, um, anything like that, or if we want to remain where we're at more so a one trick pony um we're gonna learn a lot about juventus and maybe just maybe it's all hey i i don't know maybe they just a little bit of disrespect to certain teams challenging them to come out and break us down i don't i don't really know but i do agree with everybody that says we do have to evolve and get more to it how much we can evolve that's up to the guys. That's up to everybody that's there, the coach, the players, everyone. But hopefully we're in for a surprise against Inter and we uh, put in a solid, solid performance that uh, results in a uh, strong victory. But it could also very well be one of the greasiest games you're going to watch all season uh, because Inzaghi is actually very, very similar to Allegri. Um, and this is what makes me laugh because... You have a coach that is, he does well, and he did well with what he had in Lazio too, I believe. Yeah. And then you, you've you got him with Inter with arguably the best roster. Everybody's putting this pressure on him and all this and whatnot, and he's getting praised, and Inter's getting praised for all their play and all this. I see a team that's very, very, run very, very similar to Juventus. The difference is I see a team with, quite a bit more quality and yeah. and i think he runs them he manages them for me he is very very similar to allegri he is a manager that's very methodical in how he goes through games if you look at them in champions league they're scraping these games by and they're getting criticized for those games that uh, they barely get a one nil out of an away game champ he doesn't care he couldn't care less got the victory in whatever they didn't perform up to their um uh abilities all that he doesn't care on to the next one look at that game what am i going to do with these guys and enter all their games like i said have been very very different and they have struggled in a lot of games but they've found the victories and quality has got them through some of those games to get those three points and uh it's just it's funny to me because i see them very very similar we're we're giving up uh, a bit in quality, I think, but hopefully, you know, everything else comes together, the work rate, the crowd, the atmosphere, everything, the pressure, and those are equalizers. Those are equalizers. And we'll learn a lot about our guys. We have a younger side, a lot about this Juventus uh, November 26th, but I'm not concerned about it. I think Juve will put in a, a good, solid outing. I really do. I, uh, I agree with that. Uh First, Pedro, uh, this thing, this show, was supposed to be a regular stuff, but it's difficult. We are in completely different time zones, but we will switch it up. Once it will be over here, the next time we'll be back on the OUV. So we'll try to find a way to bring them more frequently, if that makes 
uh, sense, but it's not easy. So um, we'll yeah. try to do our best. Uh, on the really quickly, because you had one more point, you texted me you want to discuss. Um, I agree. Like this game will tell us much, and especially December, you know, um, because we play tough games. Inter, Monza away. It's like it's not easy. Roma, Napoli, Frosinone away. So it's gonna be <clears throat> a very tough month and a couple of days for us. So that's gonna tell us. I agree. Okay, is this sustainable? Can these yeah. players react? Because I think we will go down in certain games. We will. We will probably need to react in certain moments. Can we do that? So that's going to tell us a lot uh, in that regard because they shown it. Verona, they did it until the end, you know, because in that game, I was sitting in my hotel in Barcelona and I was like, I wasted uh, a night out basically in this city because I stayed in my hotel. I checked in for the game and I was like, I was one minute left. I was like, I wasted my time. I'm here and I am sitting in my hotel, my girlfriend already sleep <laughs> because he was like I'm not doing this and I was like what am I doing and they scored and I didn't believe they had it had that in them I, I I like I was I was shocked and I was like okay they proved me wrong in that regard because it was a game we should have won it wasn't about we play bad somehow that ball yeah. was just not going in and they proved me wrong on that point so they showed me some improvement already mentality wise quickly on the inter thing I will sign up winning in the most ugliest fashion with a deflected goal for the next 100 years against Inter. And you give me that piece of paper, I will sign it up. If you tell me we will win the next 100 years against Inter, but it's all going to be own goals, deflection, whatever, I don't care. You just beat Inter. <laughs> I absolutely do not care how you do it. If it's a friendly, if it's the Bira Moretti Cup, the Silvio Berlusconi Cup, I do not care. You beat Inter, I don't care how you do it. Just somehow, some way, you find a way to beat Inter. I don't care how you do it. You know, that's that. Uh, 